didn't mean to kill Austin. Ashley, I really didn't. I really think I did it. I didn't mean to hurt him. There's a saying in the world that if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. And for some criminals, they just don't get that saying at all. Because they're convinced most times that they not only can do the crime, but not get caught and thus not do the time. But when they get the worst of all punishments via life in prison, they tend to react badly. Now, if they were just angry or swore, that would be an understandable reaction, because the sentence was their last shot at seeing the light of day again. But it doesn't always go that smoothly. Allow us to show you 10 convicts who freaked out when given a life sentence. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10. The Desperate Plea You might think that some of these reactions aren't really going to go and be that wild, but trust us, when people see the door to their life being slammed shut, they react big. In this case, it was a daughter who decided to use a dating app to try and set up a robbery. First and foremost, that's some next level thinking that, without a doubt, is wrong on numerous levels. Because not only are you trying to take advantage of someone, you're doing so while they're technically at their most vulnerable, via trying to get a date. Which makes us wonder how many other people have had that same thought, just saying. Anyway, the robbery didn't go as planned and a person got shot. The daughter was arrested and eventually sentenced to 20 years in prison. When this happened, her mother was in the courtroom and fell to her knees in grief and started to cry. The daughter cried as well, calling out for her mother and begging, begging the judge to reconsider the sentencing. Naturally, the judge didn't, and thus she is in jail. And while it may not have been a life sentence, she did lose a major part of her life, and she couldn't blame anyone but herself. Number 9. Brandon Spencer As sad as it might sound, shootings in the world today are nothing new. In fact, they happen so frequently right now that you could argue that the world is getting numb to them being reported. But in the case of Brandon Spencer, he did a shooting of his own that is both incredibly odd and incredibly dumb. Mainly, he decided to shoot up a Halloween party on the campus of the University of Southern California. According to further reports, he did this to try and shoot a rival gang member that was attending the party at the time. When it came for his sentencing, he was given 40 years to life. And his response was not just to utter disbelief, but to start banging his head on the table to a degree that he had to be pulled back because the guards thought he was trying to intentionally wound himself. If you're curious about why we called his crime dumb, if you wanted to take out a rifle, would you really want to do it in a crowded place where just about everyone will be seeing you? Or would you go to the party, wait for them to leave, and then do the deed? Exactly. Number 8. Two Women, Two Collapses We're a little light on the details for this one, but in one case, two women were charged with the death of a three-year-old girl. Given that they were arrested and sentenced to life, we're going to bet that evidence was found of negligence or some other act that proved that they really did kill the girl. The judge was swift and hard in her punishment. She said that they both were going to get life in prison and would earn no credit for the deeds that they did inside. When the verdict was laid down, both women collapsed and had emotional breakdowns to the extent that they literally had to be carried out of the courtroom. A bit dramatic? Maybe. But clearly that judge felt these two women did a terrible crime and deserved that sentence. And they'll no doubt be thinking of that little girl every day from now on because her loss of life was the loss of both of their lives as well. Number 7. Jaheel Hoskins So far, we've shown you some very typical emotional breakdowns in regards to reactions. But as you can guess, some people go right to violence when they get news that they don't want. Jaheel Hoskins was charged and convicted of second-degree murder. He had taken the life of a mother of five, and later was found to have dumped her body in a dumpster to try and hide the evidence. After considering all the facts, the judge ordered him to have life without the possibility of parole. At first, Hoskins just seemed to be taking it all in. But then, he went and threw the podium at the judge. The deputies had to restrain him and force him out the door. The irony of this situation is manyfold. Firstly, the fact that the podium was able to be moved clearly didn't show foresight on the court. Second, as he's dragged away, you can hear his mother going, I love you, baby. And finally, the judge? He didn't flinch at all when the podium or Hoskins came toward him. That's something you wouldn't expect from a judge. Number 6. Convict versus Deputies One time, a 19-year-old attempted to rob a man, but in the process of doing so, he shot and killed him. Despite these actions, the 19-year-old was hopeful that, while he might get a lot of jail time, he would also get parole. But given the nature of the crime, the judge made it very clear that this was not going to happen and gave him life. When the prisoner heard this, 
they lost it, and while making some incredibly creepy noises, tried to get him out of the grips of the various deputies that were all around him. It took several of them to pin him down and end the situation. Number 5. Threatening the Judge Juan Rodriguez was very much like everyone else on this list. He had committed a terrible crime and was up for punishment. His crime was killing a nurse at a mental hospital. But here's where the twist comes in. You see, instead of making a desperate plea or a bargain to try and get out of a life sentence, he decided his best option for getting out of jail was to threaten the judge. No, for real. He literally told the judge, who again has the power to lessen his sentence, should they be feeling merciful, that if they didn't release him, he was going to kill them. So obviously the judge sentenced him to life and got him the heck out of their courtroom. To our knowledge, that threat never came to pass. Number 4. Rage One 19-year-old had been convicted by a jury of a serious crime, and the judge then determined that his penalty was going to be life in the death penalty. When this happened, the convict's mother was losing her mind, and then her son followed suit. He busted out of the chair he was in and tried to make it to the judge. He took a slew of officers and deputies to not just contain him, but drag him away. All the while keeping the audience at bay, because naturally, they had their own reactions to deal with as well. Number 3. Andrew Wirth Murder is a serious crime, but killing a police officer is a level of murder that is deemed more criminal than others. Andrew Wirth was convicted of first-degree murder for doing just that. It was deemed so heinous that his bail during the trial was set at $1 million. After he was sentenced to life in prison, he lost it. He not only cussed at everyone that was nearby, but when the deputies tried to restrain him, he fought back thus getting all the other deputies in the room to help take him down. And, apparently, he needed to be tased in order to be subdued. That says a lot about how much he was fighting back. Number 2. Michael Marin. In the movies, you often hear about certain people, mainly assassins or covert operatives, having a poison pill that they would take in order to make sure that they don't get interrogated by someone. Or worse. This is not a myth, as the case with Michael Marin proved. Marin was charged with arson, and his crimes were such that he could have gotten life in prison, if he was still alive. For mere moments after being sentenced, he carefully put his hands in front of his mouth and swallowed a cyanide pill. Minutes later, he died in the courtroom from the pill. That's certainly one way to get out of prison. Number 1. Marcial Anguiano Marcial Anguiano was about to be sentenced to 40 years in prison after being charged with assault on his niece after cutting her with a butcher knife. When he heard this, he pulled out a razor blade that he had smuggled in and tried to kill himself. The catch, though, is that he was unsuccessful as they got to him in time. Still, the fact that he would rather die than serve that long in prison says something. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the convicts who went and had a variety of wild reactions after they found out that they were getting a life sentence? Do you understand to some degree why these people reacted this way? Which reactions really took you aback in terms of how they handled the situation? Do you think that there are more reactions like this out there? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.